Hello, in this training video we'll be covering the aggregate transformation, which you can find under the transformation section here in the toolbox. The aggregate transformation is a record transformation that calculates aggregate information uh, based off of an incoming data set. So for example, uh, if I look at this data set, you can see it pretty normal, has some product name, unit price, other stuff, uh, and I want to calculate some aggregate information uh, off of this. It includes, so for example, I want to take the uh, total uh, unit price per category as, as well as the number of products per category. Well for that I would use the aggregate transformation and if I preview the data here you can see I've done exactly that uh, and have taken per category the total as well as the number of products. Uh, to, do, to do something like this what you'll do is just simply drag and drop from the toolbox onto the diagram. This will uh, you'll result in an empty aggregate transformation, which will require a layout. Uh, in this point, at the, in this in this example, I'm going to create the layout by mapping directly to the new member element. So I'll make use of product ID, unit price, and category ID. Uh, now these names really don't make sense in the context of the way I want to use them, so I'm going to fix that by selecting the properties of the aggregate transformation. So notice that uh, the very first screen is the layout screen, which should look very familiar if you use any of the other uh, actions in Center Price, uh, except that we have the additional column uh, of the aggregate function. The aggregate function is the calculation that will per be performed uh, based on uh, the field that you've selected. So in this case, I want the count of the products. And I'm all, at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and change this to number of products in category. The, for the second field, I want to make this the total price of category. And I'm going to go ahead and leave this as the sum uh, function. The third uh, field here is the category ID, and it's going to be the thing that I'm going to be grouping by in order to resolve uh, uh, to uh, infer the other values uh, or calculate the other values. So in this case I'm going to be grouping by cate uh, category, counting the products and the total price per category. Uh, notice that for every aggregate transformation you need at least one field in which you are grouping by in order for this uh, aggregate transformation to work. Also note that we have other uh, functions, uh, aggregate functions that you can use such as min, max, first, last, average, uh, variance and standard devi deviation. And this list will change depending on the data type that you choose. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this category as group by, select OK. Uh, but now I need to remap since I've changed the name of the, my mappings, or fields I should say. And then map this one to there. So now that I have this mapping set up, I can preview my data and again see that same data set that I showed you earlier. Uh, and at this point I can map from the this uh, aggregate transformation to another destination such as an Excel file or anything else and uh, use this in the subsequent transformations. So that's how you use the aggregate transformation in Centerprise.